Um, so to, to kick this off, let's do top five running backs for, let's just say if you had to pick a running back for the next three years, two to three years, um, who would your top five be? Okay. Um, I, I, my last spot, I pivoted just last second, but my top five in this order are Nick Chubb, Alvin Kamara, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, and Christian McCaffrey. Those are my top five running backs. An honorable mention to Saquon Barkley, um, but those are my five. So say those again. Nick Chubb, yeah. Alvin Kamara, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, and Christian McCaffrey in that order. So did you, did you kind of – it seems to me like you didn't prioritize receiving a ton – throughout that but then your number one guy is certainly the best receiver of that group uh well Kamara Kamara is not like as productive as a of a runner as the other four mm -hmm. but he but he certainly the receiving makes him second for me like he's that good Chubb is just like the best runner in football like it's not I don't think it's particularly close either like Chubb's like rushing yards above expert however you want to like measure that like he he and Henry are the two better ones. I think Henry doesn't offer – Henry offers less as a receiver, in my opinion, than Chubb. I think with Chubb, it's just about opportunity. They don't give him mm -hmm. a ton of chances to catch, but he's certainly good at it. Um, Cook, I, I think Cook and McCaffrey are a step below those, to, those top three, but their versatility and just like they're very good, uh, put them in my group for me. Okay. All right, here's, here are my top, my top five running backs. Um, at number five, I'm going to go with Saquon Barkley. And the reason I'm put Saquon Barkley in there, even though he's coming off an injury, is to me, receiving matters an absolute ton. And with the ball in his hands, if you design an offense well, I think Saquon Barkley can be absolutely insane as a receiver. And I think maybe we see that this year. Uh, number four, I'm going to go with Derrick Henry. Um, and I know that feels super, super low. The only reason I'm doing that is because of the receiving component of things. Um, and I would agree with you, like as a runner, Dude is an absolute Mack truck. I'm not trying to get in front of that. Um, at, at number three, um, I'm going to go with Nick Chubb as well. Um, and the reason, as you said, is like the guy's yards after contact are more than a lot of guys' um, <laughs> yards per carry. There's over four. Um, at number two, I'm going to go with Christian McCaffrey. Uh, as you said, like the dynam dynamism of the guy is, is nuts. And I have to, out of just pure devotion, I'm putting Alvin Kamara at number one um, and I'm doing this because I can, people can get mad at me if they want. I'm, I'm drafting a running back for the next two, two to three years. It's not going to make the biggest difference on my team. And if I'm going to have a guy, I want a guy with as much swagger as Alvin Kamara has. But I also will say this as a receiver and as a runner, I think he's the best combination of the two um, that, that we have out there. And uh, he's also pretty damn durable. So that's my guy. We differed. All the Vikings fans that want to hate, I yes. took Dalvin Cook and you took Saquon Barkley. Um, Dalvin Cook. I, I think Dalvin the wheels come off of Dalvin Cook at some point soon, but he's been extremely good. He's been amazing. And the, the thing with Dalvin Cook, you know, I know he had a little bit better of a receiving year, but so much of it has come off screens. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, a, he's an amazing runner. I think he and Nick Chubb are right there as the best, you know, two of the best runners in the league. Um, but... Um, I also, you know, I just, I, I had to pick a little bit based on durability too. And, um, I'm going to ride with, with Nick Chubb being more durable there. Um, people are going to really hate those. Let's close out. Um, so, so basically are we saying that Zeke is, um, it's kind of past his, uh, his prime here. I don't think Zeke has been good for like three years. And I wrote the article, I got told to, to quit my job and I was going to get fired and, Zeke has Zeke hasn't Zeke was negative last year in terms of like rushing yards over expected using mm -hmm. our data. Like he's just not good. Like he's just not a good football player. And he fumbles. Like he, he like when you run the ball and you fumble, I sorry, I can't. And and I think he tanked that offense in many ways last year. I think that uh, his his contract is the one of the worst, if not the worst contracts in all of football. Um he's just not very good. And and I think we we praise him because he's probably going to play in a good offense. He's going to get touches, but like I don't know. I, I, I morally, I don't think I can have Zeke on any of my fantasy teams because it's just like he's a bad football player. Like I, sorry. Yeah, he had six fumbles last year. Um, 
five as a runner and uh, one as a receiver. Um, and I, the, the thing with Ezekiel Elliott is he's been a star since he was at Ohio State. He was picked high and he now plays for the Cowboys. So we're talking about him. Like that's, that's the reason, right? I think if this were any other situation with any other player, maybe he's a second round pick, like the efficiency, you're right, just isn't there. As far as a receiver, he's nothing, you know, particularly special. Um, his average, you know, average four yards per carry last year. Um, I think people want him to be good more than he is actually good. So I'm not going to say he's a bad football player because um, all football players are good. And you've said this before, like all running backs are good. That's kind of the thing. Being a good running back doesn't do it. The guys that we just mentioned are exceptional, exceptional at what they do. And um, I, I just don't think Zeke is there. I'll be very interested to see what that does to the Cowboys offense. Because if they go in and they're like, hey, we have to feed Zeke all the time, that'll be taking away explosive opportunities for what could be the best offense in the NFL with Dak. And then obviously that trio of receivers. So um, these yards per game and yards per touch have declined monotonically every single season of his career. There you go. Yeah, the offensive line, not as good in Dallas. 